I don't think I would say that Obama is an angel, but I mean, there's a separate discussion between like, uh, besides the character of a person and the actual policy positions or things they did in office. I think Trump would lose on both counts, but I mean, separate from policy or, you know, effectuality or ineffectuality as a leader, I think that it's pretty undeniable that Trump is kind of a mean spirited guy. Benny Johnson doesn't hold back during a heated exchange with Destiny on Piers Morgan Uncensored. As Destiny criticizes Donald Trump, Piers Morgan gives Benny the floor and he delivers a response so sharp it even catches Piers off guard. The back and forth gets intense, and Benny's comeback is something you won't want to miss. Let's dive right in. And then when you look at how he runs his campaign, when you look at how he runs the country, he's a very self-driven person. Like every single thing that he does is just ultimately to serve his needs or his ends at the end of the day. Whether that means throwing political opponents under the bus, whether that means throwing political allies under the bus, whether that means not helping, you know, Georgia's uh, Senate elections because he's so angry that Raffensperger, you know, wouldn't turn over enough votes for him. And now Georgia has two blue senators like I don't know. Just Trump is a really mean dude. And again, okay. yeah, you can switch over. You can look at the foreign policy position, too. But I, I mean, you can talk about Obama's follies. But Trump also abandoned our Kurdish allies in Syria to Turkey. Trump also, uh, you know, inflamed tensions in the Middle East when he recognized, uh, you know, the Jerusalem moving the embassy over to Jerusalem and the United States is uh, recognition of Israel annexing East Jerusalem and everything. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't think Trump wins on any account where he would come off as a nice guy. OK, I mean, Benny Johnson, does anyone <clears throat> does it matter? whether Trump's a nice guy or not. I think people have baked in now what he is. He's a shoot from the hip, you know, guy that loves to talk. He's, he's pretty narcissistic, OK. Uh, he's pretty bombastic. He's pretty pugilistic. If you read his book, The Art of the Deal, he says, if somebody punches me metaphorically or real, I'll punch them 10 times back. There's nothing new about any of Trump's behaviour if you have studied his behaviour for the last 40, 50 years. He just happens to be a guy who won the White House and right now is actually looking like he's favourite to win it back. So for all the rhetorical issues around Trump uh, and the supposed meanness, there are tens of millions of Americans who are queuing up to vote for him. Yeah, so let's talk about tens of millions. I particularly take quite a bit of umbrage with the description of Donald Trump as demonic. Uh, I think that is quite shocking as a Christian myself to call somebody demonic like mm -hmm. Donald Trump, who's actually against the 10 million people who have been human smuggled into this country, many of them children. Destiny brings up the idea of nice leaders. But honestly, does being nice really matter in politics? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Here's the thing. Congress and leadership roles aren't playgrounds. They're shark tanks. You're dealing with people who will backstab, lie, and manipulate to get their way. If you're overly nice, you're probably not going to get much done. Leadership is about results, not politeness. Take history, for example. The last nice president people point to is Jimmy Carter. And let's be real, his track record wasn't exactly stellar. When you're negotiating with the likes of Putin or navigating messy political waters, being nice won't cut it. As a voter, what I care about is whether the person I support delivers results. Are they lowering taxes? reducing costs, helping people live better, that's what matters, not if they come across as warm and fuzzy. And speaking of results, look at Joe Biden. Since he took office, human smuggling at the border has skyrocketed, and the damage is clear. On the flip side, Trump managed to avoid starting new wars during his presidency, which is no small feat. Destiny can nitpick all he wants, but the facts speak for themselves. Now let's check out the rest of Benny Johnson's response. Leave a like and let's jump back in. I remember a time not too long ago when people cared about, the left cared about children in cages. Yet now they're calling Donald Trump demonic. He wants to stop these human smuggling by the cartels. Have you ever been down to the border, Destiny? Have you seen the rape trees? Have you seen the little children's toys that are left down there from the human smuggling that is created by Joe Biden, the biggest human smuggler in human history? Do you know the carnage and the horror that is being created by those policies? Let's not even talk about how what Joe Biden has done to the world stage. Donald Trump brought world peace. You're going to talk about Kurds and wars? How about Ukraine? Joe Biden could have stopped that war before it even started. Joe Biden continues that war and continues the funding of that war that is leading to the wholesale slaughter of an entire region. Joe Biden could stop it right now. Joe Biden has brought war around the world. And then let's talk about the fentanyl poisoning America. You want to talk about cruelty. It took Joe Biden 400 days to go to East Palestine in Ohio. 
a city that was poisoned by our federal government in a chemical explosion, much less the chemical explosion that is happening all throughout America with fentanyl slaughtering 100,000 Americans. And the final thing I'll say here, how dare you call Donald Trump demonic when Joe Biden hasn't even said Lakin Riley's name correctly, called her Lincoln Riley when he was forced to. This woman was slaughtered by a criminal alien who was in this country illegally, who was released by Democrats and went on to slaughter a nursing student in Georgia with his bare hands. And Joe Biden apologized to the murderer. How dare you say Joe B that Donald Trump's demonic? Can you defend any of that behavior? Final thing I'll say here is Joe Biden wouldn't acknowledge his own grandchild. Even the New York Times said that is a sick, evil behavior. So if you're looking for demonic behavior, my friend, I got it for you. It's sitting in the White House in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in a diaper right now during nap time. Destiny can laugh and brush it off all he wants. But let's be real. What part of what Benny Johnson said wasn't true? Everything he mentioned actually happened. The last few years in the U.S. have been a mess for most people, with poor decisions piling up and making life harder for everyday Americans. Meanwhile, Destiny's narrative paints Trump as some cartoonish villain, completely ignoring the positive changes many people experienced during his presidency. No one's saying Trump is perfect or some kind of savior. But when you look at the bigger picture, he kept the U.S. out of wars, fought against globalist agendas, and made decisions that supported working-class Americans. If we're being honest, who else is really stepping up to the plate like that? The idea that Trump's the bad guy, while Biden is somehow the good guy, just doesn't hold water anymore. The mainstream media's spin is unraveling, and more people are seeing things for what they are. Watching Destiny struggle with the facts is almost amusing at this point. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. See you in the next video!